guys, uh, so this is Richard from Fred Junkies and we are back. It's going to be a real quick lesson and um, it's going to be going over something that I've just been covering with a student. Uh, obviously this is more compressed and not not as large as a lesson might be, but um, it's just, I thought it'd be a fairly poignant, quick lick lesson um, to put out. And it's going to be something that what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to approach the turnaround at the end of a blues progression. Uh, going into the five chord in, and and using something different um, to make it just sound a bit more outside. Um, so there's going to be a few notes. I won't get into the fury. It's going to be melodic minor kind of. Um, we're going to be in. I'm going to call it as I see it. We're going to be in D, but it's probably D. Well, it's D flat. But I'm going to call it as I see it. I'm just putting that statement out there. And we're going to get straight into the lick. There's two ways of playing this lick. Um, and I'm going to show you both of them, and you can kind of use them as you want, okay? Straight into the lick, no messing around, let's go. Uh, so on the 12th fret on the high E, we're going to do a bend to the 13. And then we're going to pull off 12, 10, uh, 9. Then we're going to go 10 on the B. Your fingering's got to be right here. And then your first finger comes over the top and catches 10 on the G string. Okay, so. So we've got 12 bent to 13. 10, 10, 11 on the D, 12 to catch the five chords, which would be the A if we're playing in D. And then we can we can kind of do a couple of ways out of it. I like to play like this. That's just a bend going up to the 15th on the A and resolving to the D on the 12. And then. Or have you choose. And then, um, so that's a quick way to get under the end of your fingers. Go back to the five, wherever you are, you can kind of use it almost. No, you want to put it at the end, actually. Root scrap or I was just saying. Uh, and there's another way we can play it, and we can take it right down to the nut, okay? Ah. Which is a pretty cool sound. So it's the same lick until we get to the A, and then we're going to go... Drop to the 8. Drop to the 4. Then on the E string, we're 5. To the 1 and then back to the five on the A string. It kind of has like an altered sound to it. Or have you? from the start this is a real quick lesson guys so it's going to be a little bit scrappy I'm, I'm pressed for time but I'm just trying to give you something really cool to play with okay If you get that one right, that one sounds really cool, um, and it sounds, yeah, it kind of sounds just on the edge and just being outside, but it works. Okay, that's the lick. Apply it where you can. Um, at the end of a progression, when you come around to the end, if you want to get to that five chord before the turnaround, put it right there, and it's a great little lick, um, and it just goes enough outside to make some the listeners' ears prick up, but you quickly get back inside, and that's what's good about that lick, you know? Um, like I said, this is a quick lesson i got quite a few gear reviews coming up. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel out. We're getting closer to 5,000 subscribers. And, um, and I just want to keep creating content that you guys like. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for being here as always. This is Richie from Fret Junkies. Peace.